Let's do our favourite pastime. Bit of breaking and entering. We need to break into this house or apartment to find information on whether this guy did actually kill Evelyn. Level 3 security. Pathetic. Let's go. We can kill it. We can kill it. Come on, baby. Dead. Access granted. I don't know whether this guy's gonna be home or not. Lee's apartment. Find Lee. Maybe he's in the bedroom. Even if he's not in the bedroom. Putting his fridge outside. That's what he gets. What you get, son? He's definitely not living here. He's got no clothes. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Well, I would have searched that if it let me in the first place. But we can't kill the server. We want to. Oh, we need to go quite the ways through here. Oh, we're getting very lucky here with no alerts. Done. Access grant. Your father wanted me to forward this to you. Is this the quarterly report? That's not what we need. My son, your behaviour as of late has been disgraceful. Up until now, I've done everything in my power to support you and protect you, but my patience has run thin. If you do not change your embarrassing lifestyle, I will have no choice but to remove you from both the company and family, meaning no more financial support or immunity. Your dishonor, you dishonour us all with your whoremongering. Your mother is well, but she is disappointed. I suggest you apologise to her. Malik, Send flowers. Looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behaviour and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. More? More? Ah. The Hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. I'm not sure there is. <laughs> Uh -huh. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. I know it's the baseball bat. I don't know if we can actually access the air. I knew it would be this. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. 
Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the Hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. The Hive. Fastest way to the Hive. Gotta be down. Oh, hello. Oh, we need to go both north and south. This should be relatively easy, to be fair. Access grant. Police! Get the cops! That's What the hell? Bro, you saw nothing. Whoa, we nearly got sus there. Let them chill out for a bit. I mean, they didn't technically see me, did they? Like, I could still probably walk past them and they wouldn't know it's me. I'll not take the risk. I don't fancy a gunfight. <clears throat> you fool. Oh, that didn't work. If I'm honest, I don't think this guy's even bothered. I think they were just unhappy with me indulging in the act of hacking. Yeah, look, he's not even bothered. Barrels. What is the point of this? Right, crack on lads. I need to find out where I'm going, I've got no idea. Leave me alone. This way. I'm surprised this, these map markers never appeared on the map. Exactly what I was looking for. got VIP access to this place so let's just find Lee. Mr. Lee. Hey, leaving already tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender that is. Who <laughs> you all looking like to me? No, I don't think so. Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. Bobby. You got a favorite poison? 
Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a rumor. Don't they all? Someone who owes Tong operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Very interested. Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip so she could understand her client's needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due. But she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes, but it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart, assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly, but we know someone who does. And that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town, a series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yu Zhao district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. That sounds pretty interesting. All right, let's see this dude. All right, we're looking for Lee. He'll probably be upstairs in the VIP, I would think. Mr. Lee! There he is. What you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off! I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why is that? Because it was falsified. Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. He said she was high as a kite, drugged out of her mind, but she wasn't. You said Evelyn was high as a kite, drugged out of her mind when she died, but we both know this isn't true. I barely remember what I said that night, but I know that ain't it. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? Antique clock. By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? 
How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? He was pregnant. No. She just happened to be pregnant. He mightn't have known. She threatened to get your family involved in the relationship. Or maybe she was pregnant. That's right. I'm not sure because both of these could be right. She told you she was pregnant and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? I don't know the answer to this. Investments in Lim kept the autopsy report buried. Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. All right, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! This She's guy. going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth but the dumb bitch started freaking out so I hit her again and, until I until she finally stopped screaming this guy's a when piece I of realized shit. what I'd done I, I panicked she was barely breathing so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and and dropped her <laughs> oh, I had you to make her. sure it looked like an accident I had no choice she trapped me she just wanted my money I would have been ruined I need to go We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. <laughs> Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. On the second floor. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is the one we saw before, but it didn't do anything. We need, well, actually, we need to go both ways, to be fair. We do, we, yeah, we do have to go both ways. We could probably get off by just going that way, though. Yeah, we don't need to go this way. We're screwed if we get detected. Access grant. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Awesome.
wonder what it is. Oh, I wonder if she's going to... I wonder if she's going to, like, put the information out over, like, a tannoy. Why is that telling me to go back in there? Get inside the hive, I've already done that. A bit weird. I wonder if it didn't trigger because we got hit with that cutscene as soon as we entered. You know what I mean? I think it's just glitched. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you going to do now? I Boxes. have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch. She was going to ruin me. Awesome. I, I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik, Evelyn, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, You'd have to try pretty hard, mister. He has been completely ruined. Now, you've got the second side quest to do, which we've got to go and disable. Oh, that's still on there, which is a nightmare. The good news is it's not on our hood. It's only on the map, which I'm not particularly bothered about. So, we need to disable these antennas. Well, actually, we need to enable them to triangulate it. On the fourth story of a building, it's, it can only be in this area. Yeah, we can get up there easily. Hmm, we've never... I know where we are. Downtown apartments. Let's go this way. This is the route we previously came. I don't know if that's a bit risky. This is probably an invisible wall, but. We'll hit a corridor. We've only really got to get through the middle. I see we Oh we you know we can kill it. That's fine. Access granted. Got him. Ammo capacity upgrade, take it. We can't use it. Okay, that's interesting. So we, we are at max ammo capacity for our pistol. So, tell you what, I will hold on to that. I would like to get a Magnum. I suppose we can buy one for 600. There's a new manhole cover. I'll leave that closed so, so we know we haven't been down there. Why is that open? Thank you. 
Access grant. Random's house. Who's this guy? Oh, these guys are actually hostile. Are they? Bro, I've just walked into this guy's house and he didn't hear me. He is not hostile. He didn't actually say anything. I bet you that's for a mission. Well, well, this is the building we need to be in. Happy days. Access granted. I'm robbing you blind, mate. What are you going to do about it? Ni hao. Take the revolver ammo, we should probably start stocking up on that. Now, fourth floor, this is the floor that we need to be on. Good job, Lao Wei. I see you found the first relay. Now hack it and turn off its security protocols. We can't kill it. One, two, three, right? We have to do this in a specific way if we want to get all the items. Got him. Access granted. One down, two to go, my friend. This is pretty. We're all in the rooftops now, so we just hop, skip, and jump. Yeah, baby. How do we get over there? Over here. Is this the roof where we killed that guy? <laughs> it is. This is the roof where we knocked that guy out. Get wrecked. Triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. And I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yuzhou district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes. He's just there. 
She's... Oh, it's in the lobby of this area. This is highly guarded. We can get in easily, actually. Already got access. Smooth operator. I thought they might have had bigger weapons than they... they must have only had pistols. I would have picked up their gun and used it to make some money. Yes, she is. Should we just knock her spot? Oh, we've already moved her fridge. She's probably not happy about that. Sup, partner? Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Well, get out. I told him I won't pay another credit. Why? Look, I know this is not an ideal situation, and I'm not proud that I got to do this. But Tong's crew wants the money you owe them. Oh, you poor boy. Having trouble dealing with the dirty job you have to do? <laughs> I should feel sorry for you? Reality check, tax man. You're here to steal money from me. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tong doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for arguments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate. You fool. I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the AUG. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. Well, I mean, it is entirely your own fault. How much are they asking from you? A couple hundred credits every month. Doesn't look like much, but in the long run, let's just say they've made a very lucrative deal. Especially if you consider I'm not their only client. Um, I think she's got it a bit twisted. Don't... I think that's a pretty reasonable deal, lad. They've, they've given her arguments that she would never be able to afford, which means she would never ever be able to get on the ladder of doing this job that she needs to do. It, it's a pretty sensible investment. How did you meet Tong? The same way most people end up meeting Tong. I was hurt. And one of his hounds smelled blood. They came to me and offered me help. I was intelligent enough to know it was a bad idea, but angry enough not to care. Mm. Couldn't you work without the augment? You wouldn't have gotten into so much trouble if you'd played by the rules. Play by the rules? Let me tell you a little story about playing by the rules. I come from a poor family. My father, my mother, my two sisters, and three brothers, none of them ever amounted to much. When I tried to do better, when I made efforts in school, they said I was wasting my time. I got into business school, and again, they said I was wasting my time. That I could never compete with all those rich kids and their tutors and extra classes. But you did. I did. I finished top of my class without the extra help and special attention, only through blood, sweat, and tears. And then what did my classmates do? They cheated. They once again bought their way to success. And what did my family say? That I had wasted my time. I was just supposed to accept defeat after all the efforts I've made? No. No way! 
Well, unfortunately, you made a deal. Pay the man. It's a nice sob story, lady, but it doesn't change a thing. In the end, I can't leave here without that money. Then you'll have to take it, because I am not going to give it to you. All right. <laughs> That's, this is what happens. Pay the man. Pay the man. Cool. Listen, uh, if I'm honest with you, Tongs give her a pretty fair deal. Yes, over time, it will cost her an insane amount of money. But it's money she would never have been, been capable of getting. Say yeah. She's trying to stiff Tong out of his money. What a fool. What you get? <laughs> we just sparked her clean out. Listen, lads, we did everything possible. I listened to her side of the story. It was a load of bullshit. She got sparked out because of it. Now we've got to get out of here. It's funny how that guy's confession is still playing outside the club. Probably will forevermore. You got a favorite poison? Hey, about that job? You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. It wasn't even for Tong, actually. It was for this guy, Bao. Here's Jaya's augment. I guess this means your investment has been returned. What are you talking about? Where's the money she owed us? There is no money. This was not our deal. Maybe not. But think of it this way. Jaya was becoming a problem. I helped you get rid of that problem. This wasn't helpful at all, Guaylo. You've caused me more trouble than anything else. <laughs> you can forget about our deal. Oh, okay, right, wait, that's not what, okay, we're not doing that then. Bro, I didn't, lads, I did not realise. I, I didn't realise that we stole her augment. <laughs> what can I get you? What? Oh, it all saved yeah. there, right, wait there. That is rather hilarious. Oh. Who are you? Shut up, man. Listen, maybe I can speak to one of Tong's men. Try and get you off the hook. You would do that? I thought you were just another one of his mindless thugs. It's hard to properly express what this could mean for me. Don't thank me yet. I can't guarantee they'll listen, but I'll try. Don't think so. <gasps> Get wrecked. Did she not have money on her? Or she had money? So wait there. I don't get why we didn't just say, here's the money. Or do you know why? No why. I think it's because I've always got the habit of just pressing X to pick up everything out of the inventory. We need, to, obviously, for that to work, we need to leave her with the augment. We took the augment off. I didn't realize you could just steal someone's augment. Shut up. 
I don't know why, but this just never gets old sparking her clean out. There we go. That's the money. If you take the if you take the augment off her, you can't do anything but but have that option with him. Makes sense, makes sense. Do I want to get? We've got so many Praxis points now. We got six. I want to get the sprinting upgrade. Sprint faster. Jump and land silently. That could be a good route to go down, but just not yet. In fact, I kind of don't because sometimes you want to get noticed. You need to have like a tool to create a distraction. And if you have a silent footsteps, then you can't use that to your advantage. Hello. You got a favorite poison? Hey, how about that job? You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. Got it. Here's the money Jaya owed you. Now honor your part of the deal. Ah, she finally understood reason. I'm glad I trusted you with this, Lao Wei. She gave you much trouble? Nothing None at all. Barehanded convincing couldn't <laughs> handle. You are a cold man. I'm starting to like you. Here, take this praxis kit. It's awesome. Fun notch, so have fun. I'm cold as ice, baby. Cold blooded. Right now, I don't actually know what time it is because I forgot to start the timer. So give me one second. I don't know. How long have we been playing for? Oh, we've still got a bit of time left. Tough. I don't know. Right, well, seeing that, what is this main quest we're on? Gain access to Tai Yong Medical. Come on then, let's find our way over there. Wasn't Tai Yong Medical next to the... Oh no, that's right, we need to go in here and find something. Right, let's go. We'll have to go in one of these rooms. Ari Von Brunn claims that a rival biotech corporation, Tai Young Medical, is behind the attacks on Saraf. To prove it, I need to steal the TYM employee card. Consider it done. This'll be easy. I got... I'll keep the revolver ammo. Ammo capacity upgrade. We've got one of them, don't we? Where's the guns? He sells a double barrel shock. He doesn't sell a magnum. Right, remember what he's got. Oh no, wait there. Bye, bye, bye. Sorry. Yeah, he doesn't sell that. That was my inventory I was looking at. Thank you. It's the other guy, which I forgot where he is. Oh, he's in the... Hmm. He was in the other place. Hmm. Right, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this.
Come on. Access grant. Beautiful. Pistol, ammo, and that's it. The joke. I think these are just customers, so they're not bothered. Right, we need to go both sides. Oh no, we can kill it. Let's just kill it. We'll go down one side, the easiest side. One, two, and four. This is the side we want to go down. Do we get closer? Well, that didn't work. Got him. Access granted. Turn that off. Happy days. I think that was only for the armory, but never mind. He said, don't go upstairs to a friend. What are we going to find here? That's where we... No, this is the floor we don't have to be on. Yeah! So that's where we could have gotten a Hive membership card, even though we sparked the bouncer clean out. That's the best way. Absolutely nothing. Hey, baby. Oh, this guy's getting a private treatment. Private treatment in a glass room is not so private. Oh, no, don't tell me I left my purse in there with May. Hey, mister, you think you could go in there and pretend to be a customer? It might break up the fight. The fight? Okay then, I'll have a look. I told you, I am not getting argument. May, you have a customer. Get to work. You okay, May? You're not a customer, are you? What makes you say that? The way you move, your attitude. And what's my attitude? Police, a soldier, someone on business. So why are you here? I heard your argument. What was that all about? They want me to get augmentations. She definitely doesn't need augmentations. For the augments. customer's pleasure. It's sick. I quit before I ever let them touch me. Good. Sounded like they don't consider it an option. They don't. I am lucky, I guess. I've been here the longest. It has advantages. But the new girls, they're not so lucky. What do you mean? They are forced to get augments. It's very bad. One of the girls who work here, Ning, she has been gone for days. I fear they took her and will force her to get augmented. You seem, you seem like a good man. I am desperate. Please, can you help? I can pay you. I'll do it. Okay, I'll help your friend. Thank you. I knew I was right about you, Mr. Jensen. Dong Long. Mr. Jensen, I fear this little time. You must find Ning before they leash her with augments. Leash her? Yes, they call it that. They leash their girls with augments to keep them under control by supplying neuropazine. I do not know where they keep Ning, just that it is somewhere in Dagong district. A specific location would help. I tell you, I do not have one. But there is a bouncer here, Chuan Li. He works with these people. He will know where Ning is. He goes to the roof to smoke often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. Okay then, anything else? Anything else you can give me? Yes. The men holding Ning. They most likely work with local triad gang here, the harvesters. 
If you look for some of them around, maybe you find Ning better. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to find Chun Li on the roof. <laughs> Chun Li. Man straight of cold Chun Li. Ah. I was wondering if any of these rooms would have been locked and we could have just went along the balcony, like this one for example. I'm gonna go both sides. Actually nuke that. Actually do I care? Hold on. We can kill it. We can kill it. That's just that's just murder. MD Kate. Murder death kill. Oh, right sure, there. lads. I'm an idiot. I thought that. I, I just, I just thought this was some random room. I didn't realize it was the mission room and ran straight in like an idiot. Oh no! Don't tell me I left my oh, purse you. there with me. Mate, you have a customer. You, please. Wait. I got you, partner. Alright, let's go. Let's try that again. Is that Chun Li? No, that's Edgar Lee. Edgar. Ah. Oh. Access granted. Right. Let's try this again. I'm going in. You were awesome, baby. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Oh, hey, did I tell you that the boss is forcing some of the girls to get augmented? Sometimes I talk so much I forget who I told what. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So he thinks. Jensen, you got any news yet? You know I hate being left in the dark. Yeah, I found Van Bruggen. Looks like the Tai Young Medical Corporation hired him and the Mercs to destabilize us. TYM? They already have the lion's share of the global augmentation market. Why use Van Bruggen? In order to get that share. Hopefully I'll be able to prove it once I get this smart card back to Van Bruggen. You need backup, let me know. Excellent. Now, let's go and see this guy, Chun Li on the roof. Shove off before I shove you off. I'm here to see you. Uh huh. What about Ning? Open the phone book. Plenty of them in there. Your <laughs> friends are holding her. I can make it worth your while if you tell me where. Worth my while? Yeah, maybe. Let's see some credits first, the tough guy, and then maybe I'll tell you where to find her. Two grand. I'm not paying. Your choice. And don't even think about trying to knock me out or something. It's not like I'm conveniently carrying that information on me or nothing. I mean, he's got a point. I'm gonna knock him out anyway. <laughs> Idiot. And I'm stealing your gun. Right. They said. What did they say? Daigong District. It can't be that hard to find. Daigong District. Bro, I don't even know where the Daigong District is. It's a shame you can't zoom out of the map any more than this. This is maximum zoom out. Dai Gong. Have we not been there? Right, 
Got a better idea, lads. In, in the interest of saving time, I'm going to get the location off this guy just to find out where the... the um, location is. That makes sense. Now we can head over there. Shove off. Because not more than the map. I... Blah, 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 blah. Here. Okay. But you never... Oh, there's a bit over here. Dai Gong District. It's where the limb clinic is. Okay then. It wouldn't have been so bad if Dai Gong was actually marked on the map like everything else, but it just didn't. This is what you get. Shove off. Sup, partner. Blah, 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 blah. You don't get nothing. Oh, you don't want to be knocked out, do you not? Too bad. <laughs> right. So. That is... Bruggen. It's in the access pods. Got no idea how to get over to places. I remember where it is. I know how to get there, actually. It's just round the corner from here. Down here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just remembering, like, the layout lay of the land. If you just go towards the main quest, that's where the, the district's going to be. This must be it. This is the Dai... Dai Gong district. Maybe. Looks like it's over here. Over here. Oh, hello. Eliminate the gods. Consider it done. It's three gods. Are they going to be bothered that I'm here? Yeah, they are. It's fine. You're in the wrong part of town, Lao Wai. Don't hide. Don't hide. Are you coming down here? Oh. He's not following me. God. Get wrecked. Oh, do you know what we could have done? Lads, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Watch this. It's because we've only ever tested this out once and I actually forgot we had it. We've got the double takedown. Lads, we need to do it. We need to do this. It's going to be hilarious. Hola, baby. Where are the snacks? Leave me. Get away. Hold on. I've got your back. Oh, it didn't work. 
You must have to be in like really, really close proximity. I want, I want to do this. I want to get it done. There's nothing actually to throw around here, so we can't do it. I wonder if you can take down three people at once. You're in the wrong part of town, my lad. Go back. Don't hide. Watch this. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it. You're in the wrong part of town, my lad. Oh, yes. Tell him ever, bitch. Leave me. Bro, you want to be left? You want me to leave you in that container? Get away. How do I put that away? There we go. Right. Leave me. We have to go this way. up partner what have they got you in here doing are you on smack who are you your friend may sent me she said you were in trouble are you hurt me thank god and no no i'm fine they didn't touch me not yet anyway if you hadn't come though how did you find me i looked around i can be persistent i i have to get out of here you sure you're okay can you leave here on your own? Yes, I... Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I need to go. I need to get out of this city. I need to get away from that monster, Chan. Tell me, tell her. Thank you. For everything. I owe her. I owe you both my life. He just stands there looking at her like, I don't care. All right, let's go back and turn this in, then we'll be done. And then it's all story mission next episode, baby. Ah, we can open these. Really? Might find some good stuff in these loggers. I want a magnum. Oh, that's what I would do for a magnum ice lolly right now. Access granted. Jesus, all these storage. There's another one after this one. We need to get through that. We don't have to, actually. Yeah. We can just go this way. No. Access grant. Last one, baby. Go around the outside. Oh, we can kill this thing. Although it's... We should definitely do that. We have to go this way, though. I'm killing it. Access Got it. Nice, now let's check our loot. <sighs> hey, baby. Combat rifle, don't care.
Access granted. Shotgun co oh nice Magnum ammo will take that. Shotgun cartridges I don't need to be honest. We've got 20. We don't really need any more. Just takes up a waste of inventory space. I didn't actually want the gun. I'll take the bullets. Typhoon ammo. Nice. Crossbow bolts. Don't care. Shifts. Well, that was rather well. That was not rather lucrative. That was terrible. Absolutely nothing from them. All right, come on, let's get back. I wish we could upgrade our stamina for running. In fact, why doesn't the augment allow us just to run forever? That's a shame. above Job done baby Ning did you find her I did she's safe but running I think she plans on leaving the city She always is a smart girl I'm glad I will contact her to make sure she is safe As promised here's your payment if you want more, I have another task. Oh. Something suitable for a man of your many talents. Are you interested? My interest oh. would depend on the task. By now, I'm sure you heard of Diamond Chan. He is evil man who feeds off the pain and misery of this city. If we are to stay in peace here, he must be taken care of. You want me to kill Chan? Yes. But you must make it look like an accident or suicide. I can do that. What about another way? There has to be another way to remove Chan from the picture without resorting to murder. There is. I have access to certain stimulants. If Chan was caught with them, he would no longer be a problem. Meaning I could plant drugs on him? Not on him. Some way in his apartment will be enough. He may be dead though. So knock him out, leave the drug, and come back here to me. I have a friend. He works with the police. I'll contact him and he'll make sure Chan is arrested. Nah, I think I'd rather just kill him. I'll do it. Good. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. It is on one of the nearby rooftops. Lower hand side is a dangerous place. Simply knock Chan out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. <laughs> but if you wish only to get Chang arrested, take these drugs. Plant them somewhere in his apartment after you've knocked him out. When you are done, return to me and I will contact my friend in the police. He will do the rest. Nah, this guy's getting dropped off a rooftop. Anything else I should know? Chang should be alone. He is too proud to have bodyguards around. But be careful. 
Even alone, Chen is dangerous. Got it. Mr. Jensen, remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chen that make it look like murder. Any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps, which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. I will wait here. Oh, well, this is going to be easy. This guy's not very far away, is he? I'm in the business of making killings look like a suicide. This is awesome. That's my type of business. Ideally, I want to get all these side quests covered this episode so we can just concentrate on story next. We'll get this done. I don't think she'll give us any more quests after this one. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is gonna be hilarious. What's up, my brother? Oh, he's got a magnum, which is exactly what we want. This is working out fantastic for us. Loot and a funny kill. Ah, grasshopper, you're wrong. Give me that. Now, we could ammo capacity upgrade. Put that on this. Nice. And then we can buy the explosive ammo upgrade for this and have like a handheld rocket launcher, hopefully. Hopefully that's how it works. Right. What we got in here? Oh, no. Bro. Bro. I thought that was like an item we could loot. I didn't want to place it. Then again, I could have placed it. Oh, bro, we could do everything, couldn't we? Place the drugs and kill them. I never thought about that. Nah, I'll keep the drugs. Might have a party. Diamond Chan. I mean, we could drop a fridge on his head. It might just look like a freak accident. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Diamond Chan. Gonna enjoy this trip. There's a guy over there. One leg at a time. Kinda wanna make him fall head first. Just to make sure. Can you fly, Bobby? <laughs> nice, there we go. Yeah, I don't think dangerous men like him should be allowed to just go through the prison system. They should just be killed. And then it's a guarantee they're not going to harm anybody else. I like dealing in absolutes. A 
And what not so much absolutes, but guarantees. That is a guarantee. He won't hurt anybody else. Is he gone? Has Chan been taken care of? He's dead. They'll think it's a suicide. Just leave it at that. I'm glad to hear that. Death is not something I wish to treat lightly. But his death does bring me relief. Thank you. Just glad I could help. You saved us, Mr. Jensen. Money does not feel like enough thanks for what you have done. But here's the payment promised. I hope you will be satisfied with it. Two grand. I mean, it's not bad. I would have preferred a praxis point. Never mind. Right. Tell you what we'll do. Let's get to the mission area. I suppose we can just jump out the window. And then we'll be ready to go in. Raw dog. Next episode. Going hard and fast. Just how I like it. This is what? Alice Garden Pods. Main mission. Rocky lads, hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.